All right, what's going on? So in this video, I am going to give you a recommendation on pool solar heaters. Should you buy one? Uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm up in the air here. You'll you be the judge. I'll show you what I learned. Uh, uh, I'm almost leaning towards no. So the, the, the one I bought is called Extreme Power. I bought it from Home Depot. I purchased uh, four four foot by 20 foot panels, and it says the temperature. It raises the temperature uh, up to six to ten degrees, and uh, it's, I'd say yeah, it's as, as advertised. So let's go ahead and uh, do the research and show you some tests here. Okay, here's some of the options out there. We'll start with Amazon. So you can see uh, a lot of money for this one that just shied me away. However, if you look at this design here, there is uh, string holes through it, which would make it easier to hang up. So uh, maybe it is worth paying the extra money. Here's Sun Heater. So this is 40 square feet for $148. Then you got some other options down here. So I went with the Home Depot choice. So I got 80 square feet for $173. I actually bought two of those, uh, did not end up needing them, and, and sold one of them back on uh, Facebook Marketplace. All right, here is Lowe's. So they have Sun Heater, and you got 80 square feet. For three hundred dollars, this is the model that my in-laws have, and uh, it uh, works pretty well. Although I've never done the test as far as before and after temperature, but uh, they are pleased with the model they have. Okay, first step that I was not anticipating. This stuff was coiled up so much. Uh, like a ball was very hard to get out so I'm gonna have to leave it sit out here in the sun for a couple days with rocks on the end of it here try to get it to lay out straight okay so I got the panels laid out they do flatten down after one day uh, I will I will try to flatten them out a little bit more yet putting some rocks on them uh, so the next step is you got to plan out so I'm gonna go inlet the, the caps are marked here so we go in and the, these pieces all come with it. So tie that into that inlet. And then I'm going to run a pipe up. And then that's the inlet side on that one. And it comes back down. And this is the outlet piece. So again, the first step is just putting these connectors on. So real easy so far. Every end that you're not running water through, you need to take off the cap that comes with it and put on a permanent cap with Teflon tape. So I'm going to wrap the Teflon tape around there and screw that in so I have uh, four panels so I'm gonna have two on each side of where you don't want the water to come in and out at. Okay next step so you gotta plan out I am not going to hook the line up to my pool pump directly what I use is a separate sump pump that I drop in the water underneath the water slide and just keep all the the pipes back here uh, away from the water slide so I'm going to run, I'll put up on the screen what type of pipe that is and where I got it. Um, but anyway, I'm going to run the pipe up into the inlet. So again, I'm going to Teflon tape this run right here, screw that on right there, and run the, the pipe up through there. Then I could take off uh, this pipe uh, anytime I want to use for other uh some pump purposes like I usually use it for draining the pond uh, that way again you got a multi-purpose use sometimes if you see my previous YouTube videos I'll drop the sump pump in the pool on top of the winter cover in the winter to drain off any rain that occurs there so uh, just having multiple uses so this is be the outlet end so I'll screw another one on and run the pipe back down and drain it again back underneath by the water slide Okay, I ran into an issue, so the diameter of this piece right here is not wide enough, so whenever you put the pipe on and clamp it down, it still pulls out because the, the clamps won't uh, 
press in tight enough on uh, that type of pipe. So here's the fix. I had to go up to the hardware and purchase slip pipes here and I'm gonna put it over top of that. Then you put the, the primer, put the primer around it and the glue around it, put it together. So then it ends up being like that. And then the pipe will fit in there a lot tighter with the spring around and it'll fit. Because this is by the pull side, I want good presentation. You can see some of the glue there came through. So what I'm gonna do is spray paint everything black just for better presentation before we hook it together. All right, we have an update, change of plans. So I had purchased four of these panels and it just was unsightly. I couldn't fit four in this space. Uh, so then the next step, I tried to attach them to the back of the fence line. And there, while there's holes on the edge, there's no holes in the middle to hold up the plastic pieces on the fence so it'll sort of buckle and lay down. So you can't really lay this model on the fence. Um, so I ended up just, let's go with two, one here, one here. So that way it's hidden behind these landscape bricks here that you can't see it from far away. You can only see it, see it whenever you're right up on it. So uh, I like it, a lot better presentation. Uh, you could only put so much flow through it at one time, so I don't think that it's actually going to be that much difference with the heat uh, as, as far as uh, increased temperature with four versus two anyway, to be honest with you. Uh, so let's go ahead and go over how it's hooked up. So again, I have a sump pump in the pool that I like to keep underneath the water slide there just so nobody hits it. You don't want it vibrating against the pool liner or else it'll poke a hole in it so you got to make sure that's up away from the pool cover uh, so then I'd run a hose up to the inlet end and it comes down to the outlet end and then in order to get to the other panel I took the hose from here up to the inlet end of the other panel down to the outlet end and then back down and then I outlet it in the pool. Okay we finally got a sunny day so let's go ahead and do a temperature check to see how well the solar panels are working. So air temperature 81. It was at 101, 95 down to 93. I'm going to go ahead and dump this water in the pool and just do another chuck here. All right, the temperature of the water coming out is 66. So there was water laying in there and that water was real hot. But once that water got funneled through the system and it pulls the cold water through, it did not rise the temperature as high. Let's check what the temperature of the pool was. All right, temperature of the pool is 60. Okay, we got a new configuration here. So uh, particularly, I put stone on top of the plastic just to help uh, get more heat absorption going. So let's go ahead and test it here. All right, water temperature 58. Took about 20 seconds for the water to get from the pump uh, to the outlet here. Now, this first bucket's going to be really hot because that water's sitting in there. This from the, we learned from the first test. Okay, there you go. 107 degrees, but we can't go by that again because water has been laying inside. There's been trapped water inside there all day that's been heating. So we got to now check, let water circulate, let water cold circulate, cold water circulate through the plastic here. And test it again. All right, 65, kind of disappointed. Just trying to QA what's going on here. So the, the plastic pipe does not feel hot, uh, just because the air temperature is not that hot. Uh, these rocks here don't feel hot, but whenever you have all the, the rocks stacked together like that, that feels hot, like 100 degrees there. So uh, probably gonna have to cover up even more with rocks 
Okay, another test. Pool temperature 59. Initial temperature 111 degrees. Drop down to 67. Better try it one more time here. Okay, so I ran one more test. Uh, this has been the hottest day so far that I've tested. I don't know, it feels like 80 degrees right now. It's probably 78. Um, so the water temperature was 60. I just measured it. So I tried it one more time and we're hanging at 68 degrees here. So that rose the temperature. Yeah, now it's at 69, uh, 9 degrees. So uh, I'm actually pleased with that uh, progress there. Okay, so let's, let me summarize all the cons for you. So one, uh, it restricts the water flow too much, um, almost by 75%. So I look down the pipe that's in there and the water's restricted to like a the size of a, a nickel or something flowing through that the main pipe there. So you can't pump a lot of water through it at one time. Uh, next, yeah, you really can't hook it up on a fence. The panels are so long, 20 foot long, and there was no holes, manufactured holes in the middle of them to secure it on the back of a fence. Uh, three, I was expecting a higher temperature increase. I mean, yeah, we, we got a couple of degrees. I was, I was expecting a lot more. Um, was it easy install? It wasn't easy, but it wasn't difficult. Uh, you had the, uh, it came bunched up in a roll, so you had to lay it out for a day. It was hard to work with. Um, so I don't know. Uh, so what would I, would I buy it again? Uh, probably not. Uh, what would I do? I would just take that, uh, the pipe that I purchased and buy another three, 400 feet of that pipe and just keep on running that pipe, that inch and a half diameter pipe around rocks. Uh, that way I'm getting uh, full capacity of an inch and a half pipe water flowing through uh, being heated going back into the pool as opposed to you know the capacity only being the, the size of a, a nickel um, so I don't know hope uh, again <laughs> I don't know it's like tossing a coin I don't know whether if I'd buy it again or not so again probably not so I uh, hope this helped you make your decision on whether you purchase it have a good one